Hey guys, I'm Eric Reineke and welcome to this week's Tuesday Tips. This week we have Willie McBride and Lucy Wilmot to talk about how to approach learning a new skill. Hey guys, I'm Willie McBride and I coached at the 2016 Olympics and have been coaching Olympic classes ever since. When you're trying to learn a new skill, one of the most important things you can do is really break that skill down into a ton of different details. Pretty much every skill can be broken into three parts. It can be broken into steering, weight movement, and sail trim. And if you think about those three different things kind of individually, then you're going to be a lot closer to mastering them. I spend most of my time thinking about skiff sailing, and in the skiffs, weight movement is all about footwork. Once you nail that down, it really makes everything else a lot easier. Hi, my name is Lucy Wilma. I grew up sailing in the Bay Area and I'm currently training with Erica in the FX. I sailed collegially at Harvard for three years and for the past two years I've been focusing on sailing part-time in the FX, training with the top women. The FX is really tippy and hard to control, so to make learning easier, we focus on training in a venue that had the same conditions so that we could practice our footwork, our weight placement, and our timing consistently day after day. Whenever I'm practicing something new, I go out with a willing to fail mentality. This means when I hit the water for the first time to practice that new skill, I'm totally willing to get banged up and I mentally accept that things aren't gonna go right um, right off the bat. <laughs> I think it's really important to break things down one step at a time when you're learning a new skill. Um, a great saying that kind of embodies this whole mentality is that you wouldn't try to eat a whole steak <laughs> whole because when you tried to swallow, you'd probably choke. However, if you cut the stick up into little bites, uh, first of all, it's more enjoyable. And second of all, it doesn't upset your stomach and you're able to digest it easily. So the same mentality <laughs> I bring to some learning something new, doing things in little pieces, and then once I've mastered one piece, I move on to the next one. It's also really important to have patience with yourself when you're learning something new. Um, we've all heard coaches or people talk about you know, those cool kids out there who learn something super quick, super fast. They're naturally talented, naturally gifted. And that might be the case for some sports with you, maybe some different techniques with you. However, um, if it's not the case for a specific drill or um, a technique that you're learning, I think don't get discouraged right away. Have the patience with yourself because over time, you're gonna be able to get the skill. Uh, you, just, you just have to have, again, patience and trust yourself. At the end of the day, I think it's really important to note some of the things that went well and maybe some improvements that you need to work on for the next day. So Willie and Lucy have been super awesome at providing this kind of positive feedback loop to me each day. We've been able to um, kind of work on a skill and then the next day go out and make it just a little bit more perfect. And so I'm very thankful that, you know, the FX is really tippy and hard to control. So to make learning easier, we focus on training in a venue that had the same conditions so that we could practice our footwork, our weight placement and our timing consistently day after day. One piece of advice I would give younger sailors is to make sure that every single drill you're doing is really working towards a larger goal that you have in mind. Um, it's really easy to go out aimlessly or with no particular drill and kind of at loss just being on the water and not really spending those hours productively. Thank you guys for watching Tuesday Tips. Uh, later in the week, stay tuned for some bloopers of me and Lucy probably falling out of the boat, capsizing here in San Francisco. It's been exceptionally windy per usual. Um, we've been sending it pretty full on. <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, some of the footage is pretty funny. <laughs>